Good morning, you guys. It's uh, Monday morning. Man, the truck's dirty. We're gonna go uh, ahead and check the truck and uh, try to find the load. Uh. Yeah, man, so we just uh, checked the truck. Everything looked good. It's uh, 7.45 a.m. Uh, we've been trying to look for loads, but we just kind of started looking right now. It's really nothing much, but I'm trying to see if I can get something on the truck today. But yeah, man, I'll let you guys know if I find anything. All right, you guys, we uh, we booked the load. Picking up in Williams, California, which is like 40, 45 minutes away from the yard from where I park. So we uh, we stopped here at the Love's. Street, then take the first right. We stopped here at the Love's real quick to grab something to eat before we go pick up, because we're gonna be there early. Our appointment isn't until 12, and right now it's 9:40 a.m. So yeah, just in case they take a while to load us and have something to eat. But yeah, we'll see nice. you guys there. We were here for like 30 minutes and they loaded us quick. What do you guys think I picked up? Just by looking at the place. We picked up rice. All right, so we gotta get on the scale that they have here. See if we're good on our weight. I like when people have scales. It makes everything so much easier and you just feel so much safe, especially when the load's heavy. Everything easier. Yeah, man. So I guess like 10 miles past Reading on I-5, they have it closed down due to snow or some crashes. So uh, I'm going to chill here at this TA for a couple hours and see if they open it back up. There is another way that you could take, but man, it's kind of like... I think it adds on about a hundred miles more. So I think I'm gonna chill here for a while. Hopefully they open it up in the next two hours. But yeah, everyone's pretty much at this TA right now, just posted up, waiting it out, I guess. So we'll see what I'm gonna do. I need to fuel up a little bit anyways, cause if anything happens and we get stuck somewhere and we have to pull over, I wanna make sure we have enough fuel Yeah, man, the truck stop is pretty full. Everybody's here just hanging out. I guess the next update's at 1 p.m. Right now it's uh, 12.56 p.m. So uh, I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens. I guess they just opened up I-5. It's uh, 1.20 p.m. So I only had to wait for like 20 minutes. They've been closed ever since like 4 a.m., I think. So luckily I didn't have to wait too long. And hopefully we can still make our appointment tomorrow at 11 a.m. We should be good. If everything goes right today, we should be there around 10, 11 p.m. So 12 hours before our appointment. So... Yeah, man, hopefully everything goes good from now on, from here on out. Yeah, man, so uh, they just opened up by 5, and I hurried up and got in line to get out of that, the TA. Because uh, right now it's 1.22 p.m., and I want to be in the mountains when it's still daytime. Because I know during, the, during nighttime, it's going to get cold and slippery up there. So I want to try to get as through all the mountains as fast as I can during the day. Because the sun's kind of out right now, at least right here in Redding. I don't know, Mount Chasna, um, Mount Ashland. Uh, what else, what else? What else is up there? Siskiyou County, I think. I want to try to get through all that weed right now. And then later on, chill a little bit but right now I'm just trying to get through as fast as I can 
having a decent dinner tonight. Smother it in a hot sauce. The only way to do it. All right, you guys, we made it here to the TA in Aurora, Oregon. We are about 10 minutes away from our delivery. We deliver tomorrow morning, so. Just kind of checking out the truck, post trip. Truck's really dirty. But yeah, man, I'm a, it's nine p.m. right now, so we don't deliver tomorrow until 11 a.m., but we're gonna try to get there early. But I'm gonna go ahead and take off my contacts clean the truck out a little bit and then knock out so i'll see you guys in the morning good morning you guys i had to turn on the truck last night or actually very early this morning because man it was cold so yeah uh we're about 10 minutes away so let's start i'm gonna check the truck real quick and let's head out of here right, you guys we're here at pacific foods in uh wilsonville oregon it's my first time here Uh, we're an hour early to our appointment. Let's see if there's anybody here in this little shack thing. Turn left. Nope, I don't see anybody. online they're like oh you have to be here exactly on your your appointment time they won't take anyone early uh, also read that they take a long time so that's why I have not booked a load yet because I want to wait until they start loading me Yeah, let's uh go see what what they're gonna tell us. Receiving entrance, shipping entrance. So that's the shipping entrance. Receiving entrance is over here. I don't know why I read more reviews online that the receiving is they take way longer than the shipping side. Seven seven one. Your name? Oscar. Telephone. Five three zero. Name. Yeah. Okay, so you're about an hour early for your appointment. Uh, we're all in the middle of offloads right now. Okay. So what we're gonna have you do? Uh, we're gonna need you to wait off site. So go through the gate, up the driveway, hang a right on the main road over here. When you get to the intersection, turn right again. We'll be parked behind our warehouse. All right, cool. All right, now we'll give you a call when we're ready to have you come up. All right, cool. Thank you. Dude, what the heck? I just hit that trailer. <laughs> Holy shit. How did he hit it? There's so much room. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they didn't take us in, but they finally gave us a call. It's 10.55. Told us to go back to the facility because we had to leave and park on the street and that they're going to check our seal and then give us a door so we're only down the street i just have to make this left and another left and we're there so Door 25. Woo. 
Yeah, so it's pretty much 12 p.m. It's been an hour since uh, we backed into the dock. Um, so I was kind of deciding, do I want to go back home or do I want to try to do a local run around here? Because I've told you guys before, they pay better out here doing local runs than in, out in California where I live. So, And I don't know, I just like to drive over here better. So I like kind of like staying out here an extra day just to do a local run. But right now we just found a load picking up in Salem, Oregon, going to somewhere in Washington. It's only 90 miles. Plus I have to do like 30 miles deadhead. So that's 120 miles and I got paid about four or five dollars a mile. Five dollars a mile. So yeah, man. Um, probably just gonna stay out here another day so today's tuesday and then tomorrow wednesday i'll find another load going back home and just call it a week like i've told you guys before i usually just take it pretty easy during december november december and yeah pretty much those months i just take it easy just try to make enough money to pay the bills uh the payment on the truck the insurance and you know all the extra stuff that comes with truck being an owner operator trucking so yeah man they should be done here though i mean we're empty we're just waiting for the green light and for our paperwork so let's see what happens yeah so we're right we're right here getting loaded in salem oregon we're picking up cardboard and it's going to longview washington man look how dirty that truck is cardboard like that wow look how dirty yeah so i i was supposed to start a new video but we'll just do this load on the same video because i like to do a video for every load but this is going to be a short one anyways a short uh short run and plus it takes me a while for me to upload videos because uh I have to wait pretty much until I get home until the end of the week to upload them. Unless I go to like a McDonald's or a Starbucks or even Planet Fitness when I go to the gym, it, I use their Wi-Fi and that's how I can upload videos. But yeah, right now we're in Salem, Oregon. This is going to Longview, Washington, 90 miles. And uh, yeah, pretty short and simple. I'm trying to see if I can get a low. It's supposed to be delivering at 6 p.m. But right now it's one and it takes me like what i'm gonna be there at 3 30. so they if they could get me unloaded fast i'm gonna try to look for another load maybe a late night run going back home or maybe even a late night local run i don't know but if i can't find that then i'm gonna have to wait until wednesday tomorrow morning and maybe i'll try to find one right now or once i deliver and just going back home so we'll see we'll see what i decide to do though I'm just chilling. No rush to go back home. I got nothing planned, so. Yeah. Got our paperwork. Let's go to Longview. Yeah, I'm looking for North Pacific paper. Okay, how do, how do I get it? Yeah, man, I tried to go in another, uh, another gate down the street. I think that was like gate seven or something. And the guy was like, you're supposed to go to gate four. And he started like spazzing out. You're the 10th truck that's been through here. Tell one safe, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, it's my first time here. How are we supposed to know if they don't tell us? And I mean, you get crazy with me, but I mean, at the same time, I'm gonna tell you how it is. We've never been here. What do you want us to do? He's here pretty much probably every day. So he knows. So he probably thinks like, oh, everyone else should know or something like that. But that's the type of shit that we got to deal with. And we got to get yelled at as truckers when nobody even tells us anything they don't have no signs or anything oh blah blah, blah. If, if you see that i'm going crazy right now it's because i am well i would say my bad but nope not my bad because i didn't i mean what do you want me to say sir what do you want me to say so yeah we should be at the right uh guard shack now at the right gate gate four so uh we're two hours early for our appointment let's see if they'll take us in there's like a 50-50 chance here, I feel like. So let's see. Okay, so they let us in, but they told us to stop. Make sure you stop here at the stop sign and let these uh, stackers by because they have the right of way. 
Those things are huge. Look at them. Sheesh. I don't see any more coming, so we should be good to, uh, we should be good to go. And then uh, up here, there should be a scale house. And we're gonna scale in with our heavyweight, print that out. And then on the way out, we're gonna scale again, print out that ticket, that's gonna be our lightweight. So that'll let them know how much, how much weight of product they got. Or how much weight, yeah, you guys get what I'm trying to say. So these scales are pretty tight, so you want to make sure you don't hit your wheels or your steps on the side of your truck. I kind of like to stick my head out the window and stay close and try to stay close to the right or left hand side. They got us done within like unloading us within 30 minutes, but it took like 20 minutes for us to like find this place. For us to get someone to come to the office. And then I had to blow up my trailer. So about a whole hour here. Not bad at all. So it's 5 p.m. Uh, I can't find any other loads, any local loads or anything to get us back home picking up this late. So I think we might just have to call it a night just wake up early tomorrow morning and uh try to find a load to head back home so now we gotta scale out and get our light lightweight ticket all right so i gotta put my release number i think it's the bol number so all right you guys yeah we couldn't find a load going anywhere so we're just gonna call it a night here at calama washington We'll be up early in the morning trying to find a load and uh yeah i'm gonna be parked here for tonight probably gonna drop my trailer and go to the gym and then grab something good to eat like i always do when i have a lot of time off but yeah that's the end of this video video love you guys and peace out see you on the next one